teleport to say, hey guys, it's close. You are in for a treat today. Let me tell you. We're gonna watch Me Squad in his AMX 50B. And this will be a treat. Guaranteed. Does close ever lie? No. All right, let's watch this game. This is an epic game. And uh, Me Squad is an epic player. Like this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, you could look up his name on uh, WT, WOTReplays.com and see dozens of fantastic replays. And this is one he sent and we will watch. Look at this, he's not gonna sit at the back like a pussy, even though he's got a French tank with no armor. He's moving up to get a couple of shots early in the game and he's moved aggressively up here and he missed. He's spotted, but he's gonna shoot and what, he missed or what the hell, he's been, he missed again and he's not having a very good time and uh, well, okay, he did not get any damage because this French gun. Oh, and look at that. His teammate is dead. <laughs> okay, well, didn't start off so good, but eh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, he's reloading. So the first clip uh, was shit. But let me tell you, you're in for a treat. <laughs> it gets better. Trust me. What have I ever let you down? Okay, he's going to poke it up. They're going to spot him if he pokes up here. Probably, right? He's, he's trying to... He's being aggressive. He's, he's probably... Okay, there he goes. He's going to get a shot now. And finally, yes, he hits someone, but he is spotted. And he has to back up again. And you know what? He's saying probably, screw this. There's no point taking a shot and trading. The advantage of... Uh, or the, oh, he look at this. Mies has this uh, zoom out mod. Uh, he is running some mods here. And, uh, yeah, you know, that mod used to be uh, part of uh, a mod pack, and I believe it is no longer available in Europe or is banned in Europe. Or... I was just not sure. It's probably legal here in, uh, in North America. We do not want to get into a mods discussion, do we? Do we want to talk about mods? Well, you know, I did say you were in for a treat. Might as well. Now, Mies, you're going to have an epic game here. Look at this. He's zooming out. Trying to see uh, what the enemies are doing. I'll just give you my opinion, okay? This is not going to detract from the game. He's going to have an awesome game. We're going to watch this, but I just want to give you my opinion. And uh, I do not run any mods. None. No XVM, no zoom out mod, no, you know, nothing. Just play the game vanilla. And I know that there are some mods that are uh, uh, acceptable, and there are some mods that are uh, illegal. And my and just because I do not run any mods doesn't mean you know doesn't mean I hate people that run mods. Like Mies here is running a mod. He's gonna have an epic game. We're gonna show it. We're gonna enjoy it. That's not the point. It's just my opinion. I do not agree with uh, having mods in the game. And if you know if you're running a legal mod that is allowed, that's fine. Uh, if you're running a cheat mod, you know, and then at the same time you you complain about other cheaters trolling you, well then you can just go fuck yourself. But you know, if you're running legal mods, that's fine. It's allowed, and then that's, you know, you choose to do so. I choose not to do so, and my opinion is that mods in the game, allowing mods in the game, uh, creates a culture of, of players that have mods, right? Now, so a lot of people have mods because they're allowed, and once you've installed a mod, a legal one, you know, you're not doing anything wrong, the thing is, it's easy to do, and it creates a culture of people that that add mods, which means you're going to get a lot of people that add illegal mods. Because it's so easy to add a, a mod that's that's not illegal. Why not just you know click on this website and download this one that it, the aimbot mod, right? Or a, a location mod, so you know where the enemies are even if you don't spot them. And now don't give me this bullshit that uh, you know we need mods because Wargaming needs to uh, incorporate new things in the game when a good mod comes up. Like, fuck off. They could uh, program anything they want in this game. They've got smart programmers. And what's wrong with everyone having the same thing? Right? What's wrong with that? When they have the eSports finals, they have to have them on special computers with no mods because, uh, let's face it, any mod, in-game mod, the, the feature uh, gives you an advantage. 
And don't give me this bullshit. Oh, but Klaus, I have a mod that gives me three row carousel in my garage. That's not cheating. Well, if you don't understand what I'm saying and you're gonna throw that back, then just go fuck yourself because you don't even un understand the discussion here. If you have any kind of mod, in-game mod, uh, that does something that other people can't do, then it is an advantage. And that's why in the eSports finals, uh, you're not allowed to have mods. You have to play on special computers. Now, in a pub game, you know, go fuck yourself. You can get trolled by people that have mods that you don't have. It's okay. But if it's an eSports final, uh, then you can't, right? Like, look at this. Okay, he's going to zoom out here. He's going to zoom out to check uh, which direction the enemy's uh, guns are pointed. And he knows that they're pointed uh, not at him, so he can come around the corner and shoot, right? That doesn't give you an advantage. It just makes it easier for you to know uh, what direction the enemy's uh, guns are pointed before you poke around the corner. You know? Go fuck yourself if you don't understand that. It's just like, uh, you know, there was a cheat mod a while ago. Uh, that when someone shot you, it would tell you the direction they shot you from and tell you what tank it was that shot you. And that was cheating, but now that's been incorporated in the game, so... And it's fucking stupid, too, because when a, when a scout shoots you from a bush undetected, uh, you get a big arrow on your screen that says, uh, you know, AMX uh, 1390 shot me from that bush on the east side. Even though you have not detected him, there's a big arrow. It used to be a cheat. But so many fucking people were cheating that now they put it in the game, right? So now when you're a scout and you're in a bush, you take a shot, you stay hidden. Uh, fuck you, you're, the enemy knows that you're in that bush. Which is used to be an, a cheating advantage because... Well, how, why is it cheating close? They still haven't detected you. Well, if you know the scout is on the bush on the east side of the map and he just shot you because you have a big arrow on your screen that told you... Uh, then you know he's not on the west side, right? So you can tell your teammates, uh, uh, move up on the west, scout is on the east side. Like, you know, it's just an advantage uh, that gives you an advantage to win the game. And and we're, we're uh, slowly digressing here and detracting from this great game that the uh, Mii Squad is having. Uh, just because uh, we somehow got into this mod. Klaus cannot, uh, you know, couldn't just uh, let it go. I had to give a little bit of a rant on it. Uh, and not to detract at all from a Mies here who's who's playing this epic game. I'm sure this zoom out mod is now legal, right? So everyone should have it because if you don't have it, you're at a disadvantage. Because you can't uh, zoom out and see which way the enemy's turrets are facing before you poke around the corner. But uh, you know what? Let's not drop it here. Like, why the fuck doesn't everyone have uh, the same amount of zoom? Like, don't you have to draw the line somewhere in the game? Like, there's a game client, and there's a game, and everyone can zoom out a certain amount, right? So why the fuck is there a mod where you can zoom out farther? Like, who the fuck brain thinks that that, you know, that's a good thing for the game? Like, why the fuck can't everyone zoom out? Why can't we all zoom out the same way? Like, pick a fucking zoom. Two times, four times, twenty times, a hundred fucking times. Like, who cares? Pick it, and let's all have it. Why not? You know, does someone have to be able to zoom farther than someone else? Why the fuck does that make sense to anyone? Like, just pick one fucking zoom. And you know what'll happen? They'll pick, well, okay, everyone can have the zoom out mod now. Everyone can zoom out 20 times. Well, then that'll be part of the game. And what'll happen? Someone else will have a 50 times zoom mod. Because they want to zoom out a little bit more than everyone else. Well, you know, uh, whatever. You know? Everyone can just go fuck themselves. That's what I'm trying to say. And that, 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 that's all I got to say about that. So, me, sorry, me, for using your game here to rant about mods. And just to make it clear, if you use legal mods that, that are encouraged and accepted in this game, Klaus does not hate you. It's fine. I just choose not to use mods, and that's just me. And that's okay. If you want to use them and they're legal, that's fine. I just think it's stupid for the game to have people uh, with different uh, things on their screen, right? We should all have the, this, the game could be great with all of us playing the same client. Like if you play on a PS3 or Xbox, because of the way that computer is, is uh, the way the software is loaded into that, there are no mods, right? But with PC, 
everyone has a different PC. You have good PCs, shit PCs. Everyone has different graphic cards. Some people have uh, uh, certain settings where everything, you know, all the bushes, and other people don't have different. There's dozens of different settings depending on your computers, and there's different. You Google uh, World of Tanks cheat mods. Just Google that after this uh, video, and you will see thousands of cheat mods that are available. And do not kid yourself, there are thousands of players uh, cheating in this game every day uh, because, you know, we're able to download mods. It could be stopped easily if they just ban all mods, uh, do a scan of your client as you log in, and if there's any files that, that do not belong in the regular game client, then, you know, your game won't load. But anyway, whatever. That's enough. Okay. Mies has played an epic game here and you know the zoom zoom out or not didn't uh, did it help who the fuck knows but he's consistently consistently plays and kicks ass and and plays really well and he has the sense to know where the enemies are and how to hide from artillery and how to avoid artillery shots and how to roam around the map and one versus five take them down so whether he has a mod or not that has nothing to do with it well maybe a little bit <laughs> but he's uh he's kicking ass in this game that's for sure let's see if he can get the last artillery he's a one shot we're gonna actually comment on the game now Mies. let's see okay there he is now he, he knows he has to keep going because it's harder to hit a moving target he's not gonna stop the artillery missed and he's gonna stop and win the game so look at let's let's go through the medals here. Radley Walters, Kolobanovs, Pascucci's for killing all those useless fucking scumbags. High caliber tank sniper and top gun. Holy shit! Look at this, almost nine thousand damage. Huh? Didn't make much profit because ammunition costs money. And uh, yeah, so this I told you I told you you were in for a treat when you started watching. You got to see an epic game. And uh, hear a little rant about mods. Leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you think about mods. And remember, Klaus doesn't hate everyone that uses mods. I just think the game would be better if there were none. That's all. And uh, let me know what you think. There's dozens of opinions. Everyone has a different opinion. And everyone's entitled to their own opinion. And uh, let's have a nice, organized, frank discussion in the comment section about mods. I am looking forward to reading these, let me tell you.